Hope Zaka Triple Seven. In today's video, I'll be doing a general overview and a look at some of the new features in CCleaner version five. So recently, CCleaner version five was announced and put to their website. So if you don't know what CCleaner is, it actually stands for Crap Cleaner, and it's a cleaning tool for your PC. It's very popular, as you can tell, it's award-winning and over one billion downloads. I've had some application installed on many computers. It's an actually great application. If you don't have it already, you should be checking it out. So I know a lot of you guys will have this application already. So in this video, I'm going to do a general overview for the people who haven't seen this application before, and then we'll do a kind of an area specific to the new features in the new version of CCleaner. So if you don't already have it, go over to the website and check it out. Uh, you can hit free download here, and if you're using it for just free personal use, you can go ahead and download it. There is a professional and professional plus versions that offer some extra things like file recovery, um, automatic updates, premium support, that kind of stuff. Um, but if you want to do everything by yourself, the free download is definitely worth it. So you can go ahead and press download. Now after you download it, what you can do is simply uh, run the run it up and then set it up and install it. And then once it's installed, you'll be all good to go and you can fire it up. So once you fire it up, it's um, going to look, look like this. So if you haven't used CCleaner before, I'm going to go ahead and explain everything. If you have used it before, the first thing you're going to notice is the new look. So if you haven't used CCleaner before, basically, like I said earlier, it's crap cleaner. So what it does is up here it's going to tell you your current system. So this is a good way, if you don't know anything about your computer, you can find out easily what you have inside your computer. So here it tells me I'm running Windows 8.1 Pro. Uh, I have an Intel i7. 32 gigs of RAM and a GeForce GTX 680. So it gives you some generic stuff about your system. Now this application works by tabs. We have the cleaner section, which basically is, as you can tell, cleaning stuff. We have the registry section, which works on registry cleaning. The tool section, which is a great area, and I'll talk about that later. Options section. In the options section, we have different things like uh, the language, um, its personal settings, um, secure deletion settings, its own cookies. Um, if you want to include exclude things, uh, the monitoring system, advanced options, and then just the general about. So we'll start from the, cl the cleaning section. In the cleaning section, this is basically, like I said earlier, where you can clean stuff. So it has uh, two different sections. It can clean between Windows and applications. Um, so what it would search for is Internet Explorer, Windows Explorer, and System. And so what you can do is you press Analyze, and it will simply go through and analyze your stuff. Now, if you have an application open that it's scanning through, so for example, Chrome, uh, it'll ask you to close it. I'm going to say no because I want it just to leave me alone. But here we go. It went through and scanned both the Windows stuff and applications that are checked off. If you don't want something scanned, you can simply uncheck it and it won't be scanned. So here you see here, it took about two and a half seconds and it's given me about fi almost 15 gigabytes of things I can remove. So Crap Cleaner will find a bunch of stuff that you can remove. Now some of the stuff will come back obviously, um, but some of the stuff you can legitimately remove and it will stay removed. For example, temporary files. Um, these files are generated by Windows obviously temporarily and they aren't cleaned by themselves. So you can clean them out and some of them will come back if you constantly use them, but otherwise you'll clean them out and it's a good way to clean them out every once in a while just to make uh, limit the system down a bit. So other things that will be checked off are for example history, of your um, browsers, um, applications like BlueStacks has over um, 200,000 kilobytes. Um, applications like Office show up here, BitTorrent, multimedia applications as well. So if you want to go ahead and clean these things, you can simply go over here and press Run, and it'll go ahead through and clean that. You know, you'll notice immediately if you head over to your uh, Windows drive here that you will actually lose about 15 gigabytes or you'll free up 15 gigabytes of storage right here. So now we head over to the registry cleaner. Um, registry cleaner is a area where it cleans your registry. Now, registry cleaners um, don't necessarily speed your computer up, and some people believe you don't have to do them, and I'm kind of one of those persons. Uh, I never clean my registry because I find it doesn't do anything to my computer, um, but depending on who you talk to, they'll say yes or no with that, so you can go ahead and do it if you'd like to. So to do this, all you have to do is hit scan for issues. It will tell you what your issues are. And a lot of times it's just missing shared DLLs or unused extensions, stuff like that. 
And to fix those, all you have to do is hit fix selected issues. It will ask you if you want to back up your current one and then it will go through and it will fix the issues for you. Now under the tool section is probably where a lot of the cool stuff happens. The cleaner section is obviously an amazing area because you can free up so much space, but the tool section has a lot of awesome features here. So in the uninstall menu, we have a bunch of uninstalling options here. So we can uninstall applications um, in the startup folder here. This is the things that start up with Windows. So by disabling some of these, this will help with your computer turning on faster. And now with a new version of CCleaner version 5, they've added support for things like Google Chrome. So you can actually go in and see what programs launch with Google Chrome. So you can actually disable these ones and help with the Google Chrome startup. So you can see different ones here, like some of the extensions like LastPass, Hangouts, um, PushBullet. And if you want to disable one, all you have to do is click on one and you can delete it or disable it straight from here. Under scheduled tasks, these are things that are automatically set to update all the time. So for example, we have um, Adobe Flash Player right here. So it just basically checks for updates every once in a while. Um, for example, here we have the Google Updater. So these are things that you'll probably have as well that will automatically um, want to update itself or check for updates, etc. Here we have the duplicate finder. So this is going to basically, you can search for something to see if there's duplicate versions of it. So this is good if you have a lot of pictures, you can actually remove duplicates of pictures. That way you can save up on space. System restore, you can see restore points and you can't actually restore to them using the program, but the point of this program is actually removing them. And by removing them, you'll free up a lot of space like gigabytes. And the last one is drive wiper. Use this with caution, it wipes drives. So basically what it will do is it deletes everything on the hard drive or whatever you plug into it. So you can choose different um, wipes like the entire drive or free space only. And then you can choose the security. So how many times it goes through and wipes it. The more wipes you do, the more secure it's gonna be. So obviously 35 is much more secure than one, but one is faster than 35. And that is pretty much it now. So I'm gonna go through kind of now and tell and uh, target specific things that are just new. Um, so a lot of the things that are new are pretty much under the hood. So I can't show you them necessarily. A lot of more improvements for things like new versions of Windows, like Windows 8 and Windows 10, and especially in the 64-bit version of them. Obviously the new improved and better looking um, look is obviously noticeable and actually faster startup, which I can something I can agree with for sure. If you can notice how fast CCleaner actually launches, um, this is because it actually sits in the background a bit. So that can be a bit of a hassle for people with extreme low, extreme low amounts of RAM. Um, but if you have a decent amount of RAM, you should be good to go. It's only using about four and a half megabytes to stay open. And another one of its new, newer features is that it will remind you to clean it, clean it, which is nice for the free version because it will not automatically clean. So it will remind you every once in a while to say, hey, go ahead and scan your computer and clean it out. Besides that though, the other real major improvements that you can actually see are gonna be in the startup folder with Google Chrome and the other, and the other browsers, um, better support for enabling and disabling them. Otherwise guys, that is pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, let me know if you've been using CCleaner for a while or if you just installed it. Go ahead and give it an analyze and clean your system. Tell me how much gigabytes you free up. And if you do, feel free to share this video with a friend and get some free space for them as well. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you in my next video. This is the Hacker 0007, and I'm signing off.